Hi, I just want to put together a series of short videos regarding what it's like living with a solar PV system with battery storage. So essentially, why are people putting these systems in now? Feed in tariffs finished, there's a new system called SEG. People aren't really buying into it as much as the feed in tariff. The feed in tariff was great. Um, with SEG, essentially, you're selling power for, let's say, five pence a kilowatt hour and having to buy it back at three times the price. It's not really taking off. So people are buying into battery storage systems. So essentially what you're doing is charging your battery during the day, which allows you to use that at night time or during the day if you require more power. Let's say it's a, you're not generating enough off your roof. We install these systems, but just about two and a half months ago, I opted for putting one in my roof. So why did I decide to put this on our roof? The, the main reason is we got an, a little electric car for work purposes, and I'm really buying into the fact that we can charge that totally free of charge. So we use the right combination of car charger to do that, which I'm going to go into later. So again, the the reason for these videos is to help you guys maximise your system or if you're thinking about getting a system, hopefully you're tuning into this for some for, for useful information. But really I want to do all the geeky bits, do a lot of the calculations. I'm living in this house, so I'm keeping an eye on it via the, the apps. Um, I want to do a lot of the, the geeky bits so you, you guys don't have to. So you could fall into kind of two brackets. You could just fall into the bracket that I'm putting it on the roof and I'm going to let it do its job, great, it will save me money, it's good for the environment or, a bit like me, treat it like a bit of a game and it's all about um, just maximising the efficiency, that's how I like to do it. So, a few of the things I want to cover in these videos is to a few tricks and tips for you guys to maximise the efficiency which quite often can be just be about understanding the system and, and also just down to timing, um, simple as that. Don't, don't overload things at the same time when you can spread the load and allow either the battery or the, the solar direct to do its thing. So again, I want to go through the apps. So they've got really good apps. I want to go through them and also the actual desktop application because the information you can get out of that is brilliant, assuming you know what to do with it. So a little bit about the system that we've put on this house. So we have, five kilowatts, or just short of five kilowatts of solar panels, so that's 15 panels up in the roof. It's a nice south facing roof, which um, catches plenty of sunlight, albeit we're in Glasgow. Um, so that charges a 6.3 kilowatt hour battery via a five kilowatt uh, inverter, and that inverter is a hybrid inverter. So again, we've got a EV charger, which is a Zappi. So that's the system on our house. This house is heated by gas, albeit now we have some efficient electric heating, which we utilize for free energy only. So why wouldn't you do that? It's free. You're producing it yourself. So that's a little bit about this house. So what I would now like to talk about a little bit in more detail is how it all ties into the electric car charging. So let's talk a little bit about the electric car charging because um, going back to it, that was the reason for me putting it on this roof. We bought the little electric car for work and I'm really buying into the fact that we can charge that for free. So we use a car charger called a Zappi. It's made by a company called My Energy. Now My Energy are really switched on because they've realised that you can charge for free. So on the Zappi, there's a setting called Eco Plus, which means it will only pull solar power. It will not take anything from the grid. That's brilliant. Now, one little thing we've noticed, however, when you're using a battery storage system is the Zappi can't differentiate between the actual solar power coming off your solar panels and the battery. So, a little adaption you can do is, is put in a DC isolator between the hybrid inverter and the battery. Don't do that yourself, by the way. Make sure you get a qualified electrician that knows what they're doing to do it. So why would you do that? Let's go through a scenario. So it's Sunday afternoon. You've maybe only got about one hour of decent sunlight left or, you know, brightness. 
So would you want to drain your battery? I would say no, because you're, you're probably going to want that power to do you at night time. Now, if you needed your car fully charged, this is a little bit irrelevant because you just need it charged. You might need you know, a full charge for, for your miles the next day. But let's say your goal was only to charge your car with free, free, um, free power. So by putting that DC isolator on, you can switch switch it off essentially, which is, which means that that zappy will only pull straight off the, the, the solar panels and not the battery. So you could have it on your Eco Plus mode, charge your car up, start to get dark, right? you've had enough of that, unplug it, and then you can switch the battery back on and therefore at night time, you're going to be using the power store for your battery again. So there's little things you can do, um, whether it's you and, and or an electrician can do to maximise that, but that's for me the main reason for us getting this and it's all about getting nice clean green miles in the car and I think it'll do really well and again the, my energy in the Zappi is the absolute go-to charger if you have a solar PV system. It's 2020 September at the moment, I don't know of another charger that can talk to a, a solar panel system like that, there might be one, one in concept just now in production, I'm not sure. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, any queries or if you if you want more information, please get in touch with us. So hit that subscribe button if you want to hear more tips about your solar system and battery technology. And thanks for listening. Thanks. Bye bye.